Good morning guys and welcome to the day. It's already about 9.15 in the morning. I just got out of the shower. Morning meeting's about 45 minutes from now. Again, as per usual, sent Christina and the kids off to their daily stuff. Helped them get ready this morning and got them out the door. And actually, I've spent a little bit of time this morning, maybe a little bit too much time, playing more Zelda. And I will go ahead and admit here, I've played several Zelda games in the past, but I've never actually played one start to finish. Because realistically, when the majority of Zelda games came out, this was pre-internet days. So any sort of assistance that you could get would basically come from strategy guides or from friends that had already played and beaten the game and just never really got into that. So the original Link game, I, I don't even know if I finished that one. I made it a long way through that. Maybe I finished it. Played a couple of the Zelda games on like the Super Nintendo. I don't think I ever played any of them on the N64 or the GameCube or or anything like that. I just sort of skipped all of those generations, so I've never actually fully played a Zelda game. This one that I'm playing right now, I've gone farther than I think I have with any of the others, except maybe the first one. I think I maybe had a strategy guide or something for the first one. But I've, I've been kind of using a walkthrough here and there where I need it, where you'll finish something up and it, maybe you don't remember what comes next, or you don't know what can... It doesn't give you very clear direction as to where you're supposed to go next, things like that. And I've also used it a few times for, like, heart canister locations, or how do I get this item, you have to go specially do this, you have to go under this waterfall, yeah, something like that. So I've actually made some pretty good progress in the game, I've got the Master Sword, I've been into low rule, I don't know if any of you guys have played this game or not. It's been out for a few years now, so it's it's not like this is brand new stuff. But I'm having fun with it, it's, it's a good game. And so just as time permits, I'm gonna keep playing it, I'm gonna see how far I can make it. The bosses so far have been just trivial, I mean, my, my history with a few of the Zelda games, I, I know how most of them work, so not really that big of a deal. And to go along with that, as I s sort of mentioned last night, the Halloween event is going on in Pokemon Go. I had no idea it was going to be quite so prevalent, we'll put it that way. As I've mentioned a few times before, we've got three spawn points for Pokemon here in our house. Three times during the hour, Pokemon will spawn, and since the event started, I have seen one Rattata, and I've seen so many... Oh look, there's a Ghastly. Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, and actually even Cubone. Cubone's not one that we see around here, like, at all. I've seen maybe two the entire time I've been playing the game, and last night I think I caught three or four. So I'm building up the, the ghastly candies, I'm getting a couple of Gengars, good stuff, as well as catching as many of them as possible for Duncan because he was asleep and now he's gone to school so he's not able to play the game. What I'm thinking about doing, just because I'm curious, is I'm tempted to go out to some other spawn points that I know of, like the local park where we have the nest and just a couple of other areas around where I know things do spawn regularly. I'm curious if all of the spawn points have been replaced with ghastly-based spawns. Or ghastly, drowsy, I've seen a lot of Meowth showing up, Cubone, all those sorts of spooky type things. So maybe here in a little while we'll run out to the, the nest and maybe a couple other spawn points and just see. But I'm gonna go ahead and catch this ghastly because it popped out. And I'm gonna get ready for the morning meeting. And hooray, skipping right on ahead. We are all home now. Duncan and I actually took a little bit of time, well, a little too much time after he read. Went out and hunted some Pokemon, got some gems, and, well, just sort of thoroughly took advantage of the, the Halloween update. Caught a bunch of Ghastlies and Haunters and stuff. Oh, and he's just in such a good little mood. Happy boy. But, as you might expect, it's dinner time. And, ooh, it's spaghetti night. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And even Duncan's eating it. And dinner completed, I think we're actually gonna go outside. It's like 6.30 and it's still pretty warm outside and Ellis is just yelling. Uh, Christina wants to go for a walk and I can totally agree with that because of all the Pokemon stuff. I mean, that's that's why she suggested it. Was not like, let's go for a walk and I'm gonna play, no. She suggested Pokemon and a walk so that we would get out and walk. So, I'm okay with this. And somebody's gonna be in a stroller. Who do you think that'll be? And we're already back because Duncan's 10k egg is hatching. What do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe it's a Lapras. Yeah. Oh, it's an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Cool. <gasps> that's amazing. That's one you didn't have. Are you excited? <gasps> I bet it's a good and one, it too. It has 12.05, and it has a steel wing and iron head. Hmm. Not the best move set, but still, better than mine. <laughs> well, this one's sleeping. That one's kind of sleeping. Watching the, the World Series. I'm listening to the World Series. Yeah. But sleeping mostly. I'm not sleeping, I'm just mm -hmm. listening. And I think that's actually where we're just going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. I've been sitting here playing entirely too much Zelda and enjoying it entirely too much. I'm working on the, the Desert Palace at this point, if that tells you anything. I think it's like halfway through the game, which is pretty awesome. But I'm done with that for the night. I've caught a ridiculous amount of Ghastly's Haunters and Gengar today and Meowth and... 
Cubone and everything else. So I'm definitely gonna have to go restock on Pokeballs and everything tomorrow, but that's that's for another time. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you're having a great day. I've definitely got to make myself get back into the video making mood. I've got a lot of stuff that needs to get done and very little time. So we'll work on that tomorrow, I suppose. We'll see you then. Bye guys.